child. The giver of good gifts shall not be shamed. She is my mother, my brethren, and the changing moods, and with them I wax and wane. Thus far, why should I fear to trace my birth? Nothing, nothing can make me other than I am. If my prophetic soul enough, if my wisdom all to fail, these to the right I shall hail. As the nurse from foster mother of our Oedipus shall greet, let tomorrow's full moon rises and exalt thee as meet. Dance and, dance and sing shall hymn thy praises, lover of our royal race. Phoebus, may my words find grace. Child, who bore thee? Nymph, O oh goddess, sure thy sire was more than men. Happy the hero repent. Did Luxius forget thee? For he haunts the opulent lord. Or Silence lord, or Bacchus, dwellers on the hilltop skull. Did some Heliconian, Ori, give him thee a newborn joy? Nymphs of whom he loved to toy. Elders, if I have never yet met the man, may make a guess. It thinks I see the herdman whom we long have sought. His, his time on aspect matches with the years of the other aged messenger. Also, I recognize the men who bring him as my servants. But ye have past days known have seen the herd, but better by sure knowledge my surmise. I recognize him, one of life's house. As soon as I thought, true as any man. Corinthian, stranger. I dress thee first, if this the man thou meanest. Yes, this is he. And now, old man, look up and answer all I ask thee. Was thou once of Lys's house? I, I was a fool, not purchased, but home What was thy business? How was thou employed? Best part of my life, I attended sheep. What were the pastures that thou didst most frequent? Sit around in the neighboring house. Then thou must have known young man, at least by faith. Young man? In what way? What man dost thou mean? The man here. Having met him in past times. Offhand, I cannot call him old man. No wonder, Master. I shall revive his blunted memories. Sure he can recall to both the time we drove our flocks. He too, I won, on a sixth of a range for three long summers. I his mate from springtime to rose up to us. I led mine home, and here's to life's fault. Did these things happen as I said? Or no? Tis long ago, but all thou say is true. But then you should remember giving me a child to rear us my own foster son. Why dost thou ask this question? What of that? Friend, he that stands before you is that child. A plague upon thee! Hold thy wanton tongue! Softly, old man, rebuke him not, for thy words are more deserving chastisement than his. O oh, best of masters, what is my offence? But answer him what he asked about the child. He speaks at random, babbles like a fool. If thou lackest grace to speak, I'll lose thy tongue. For mercy's sake, abuse not an old man. Arrest the villain! Seize! Pity him! Alack! Alack! What have I done? What would thou further learn? This give the child of whom he speaks. I did. But would that I had died that day? And die thou shalt, unless thou tell the truth. But if I tell, I'm doubly lost. And the name of these super Vikings. Nay, I confess I gave it long ago. Whence came it? Was it thine or given to thee? I had it from another, to us, not mine. From whom of these are townsmen, and what house? Forbear, for God's sake, master, ask no more. If I must question thee once more, thou art lost. Well then, it was a child of Lys's house. Slave born, born Lys's own race. Ah, oh, me, I stand on a perilous edge of speech. And I am hearing, but I still must hear. Know then, the child was by repute his own. But she within, thy consort best could tell. What? She, she gave it thee? It is so, my king. For what intent? To make away with it. But she is mother. <laughs> Fearing the dread weird. What weird? Was told that he should slay his sire. What dost thou give it to that this old man? Through pity, master, for the babe. 
I thought he'd take it to the country whence he came, but he preserved it for the worst of woes. For if thou art in sooth what this man saith, God pity thee, thou wast to misery born. No, me! <laughs> oh, woe is me! A bunch of past or two! Who lights? May I behold thee never more! I stand a wretch! Then she bewailed the marriage bed where our poor wretch she 